The first reading is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verses 8 to 15. I have given you as a covenant to the people to establish the land. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favor, I have answered you. In a time of salvation, I have helped you. I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, come forth. To those who are in darkness, appear. They shall feed along the ways. On all bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst. Neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them. For he who has pity on them will lead them, and by springs of water will guide them. And I will make all my mountains away, and my highways shall be raised up. Behold, this shall come from afar, and behold, this from the north and from the west, and this from the land of Sien. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exult, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing, for the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her sucking child? That she should have no compassion on the son of her womb? Even these may forget. Yet I will not forget you. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. Slow to anger, abounding in mercy. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down. Responsorious Psalm. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his deeds. The Lord is close to all who call him, who call, he, who call on him in truth. Responsorious Psalm. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. Let's welcome the gospel of the Lord. I'm Reverend Father Edward Kavanda from Chua Mirembe in the studios of Uganda Catholic Television. Dear viewers, I'm here to take the gospel and also to give a reflection. Today is Wednesday of the fourth week of Lent. The gospel lead reading is from John chapter 5, verse 17 to 30. At that time, Jesus answered the Jews, My father is working still, and I am working. This was why the Jews sought all more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but also called God his father, make himself equal with God. Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the son can do nothing of his own accord, but only what he sees the father doing. For whatever he does, that the father does likewise. For the father loves the son and shows him all that he himself is doing. And greater works than those than these will be with will he show him that you may marvel. For us the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whom he will. 
The Father judges no one, but he has given all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Truly, truly, I say to you, the hour is coming, and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself, and has given him authority to execute judgment because is the son of man do not marvel at this for the hour is coming when all who are in tombs will hear his voice and come forth those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment i can do nothing on my own authority as i hear I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters in Christ, once again I welcome you to the fourth week of Lent, year B. In this fourth week of Lent, we began on Sunday with what we call the joyful moment. So the whole week has a major theme that those who hope in Lord will find joy. So as we continue with that beautiful theme of the week, which runs from Sunday up to Saturday of this week, I invite you brothers and sisters to make a reflection with me on the word we have just heard from book of Isaiah 49, 8 to 15, and John, chapter 5, verse 17 to 30. In all that we learn from this word is that on many occasions, God seems to be not on time. We pray and ask for something, but nothing happens. We ask to be healed we remain, and we remain sick. We pray for more money to pay bills and nothing comes. We pray for deliverance from our short temper, but we are still getting angry. Too often God seems to, not, to be not in time. But in all this, the readings of today teach us that God does things in his own favorable time. Which we have seen in the first reading. So what does this word invite us we should always wait on the Lord. In other words, be patient with the, the Lord. Do not hurry. Sometimes we lose joy. Sometimes we lose focus because we are, we are in hurry. So the word inviting us from Isaiah to wait on the Lord in his favorable time, he will answer you. So don't give up with your life. The second lesson we learn from this is that in the first reading, as I assure that God will never forget his own. One of the challenges we meet in life, which normally limit our joy, is that we think God has forgotten us. And especially when we are facing with a lot of problems, we have that tendency. So I invite you, brothers and sisters, to, rem to, rem to, rem to, rem to remember that God will never forget his own. So let us wait on him. He will answer you in his own time. So don't rush. Even though you are finding a lot of challenges, remember always, God will never forget you. And another lesson we get from this word we have heard is that let us continue to do the will of God in everything we do. Jesus is teaching us in the gospel that he does what his father is doing. So in other words, he's executing the will of God in everything he's doing. 
So one of the things which limits our joy and even prevents us to see the presence of God is always to do our own things. And that's why we are finding a lot of problems. So brothers and sisters, I find you, let us execute the will of God. And the will of God is love of God and love of the neighbor. The moment you do that, your life will always, will always have joy. But the moment we refuse to honor this, then we shall always live in a miserable life. So we pray that God may help us to come closer to him and may he inspire us with his whole spirit that we may continue to do his will in everything we do so that we live a joyful moment of our life. May my God have mercy on us. Continue to bless us and see us through all of this sentence season. And once again, may the pass to rise again for more our challenges. Make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May my God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.